Dilly Z Potatoes. My name is Brent Thornton, aka Irish. And I am Fat Man McGee. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of the Fat and Irish Podcast. And I want to talk about something real quick. Yeah, th- trust me, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. It's not going to be like last time where we were just like chilled and fed you out. We're probably going to be like talking about the storm. I- I'm actually pretty pumped. I had a brownie and oh my god, I am fucking pumped. I- I've had a bunch of fried food, so I'm like up the walls right now. My but... nipples are bleeding because I'm so pumped. Okay, first thing I want to point out is that Dexter is a clingy bitch. It's not it's... being clingy. It's being <laughs> awesome. Okay, as you know, he got me a podcast, uh, not a podcast, a webcam. Yeah, I got you a podcast for your birthday. <laughs> he got On me the we- seventh day of Christmas, <laughs> I gave you a fucking podcast. Shut up. <laughs> Slap you, okay. So he gave me a webcam, and uh, I downloaded Skype for, like, the first time ever, because I never actually had a reason to use it until... Because you never I, had a webcam. Yeah, I never had a webcam. So, in in this... In, in this... Person... Gross motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, this... Yeah, this... 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 This douche... <laughs> is like... Do... Is like, hey, Skype me. Skype me. Skype me. And then... Okay, I'm about to. Okay, and this was earlier, by the way. We were texting while while I was waiting on uh while I was waiting on my granddad to like fry up the food. And and I got and I got and I texted him saying that uh that the food if the food's in the fryer it's gonna be like thirty it's gonna be like twenty thirty minutes something like that. And then and then he's like it's like oh good you can Skype me and we can eat together. <laughs> I just, I, I just looked at the text for like ten minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> because I don't see what's wrong with skyping with a brother and just eating together and watching some TV or something. Dude, all I, all I imagined was you just staring at me with your webcam, <laughs> eating, eating your freaking. Hungry man dinner, and I know you call it man dinner, and that and that gets on my nerves because I think I always think you're a freaking cannibal eating somebody <laughs> like hey, hey, Lecter. It's, a, it's it's a hungry man dinner, and I'm a hungry man, so it's a man dinner. It still sounds like you're <laughs> eating a person. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Which wouldn't face anybody at the slightest because because Anthony Hopkins did it. He got fucking an Oscar for it. <laughs> I cannot believe he made that reference. Oh my god! It's a legitimate reference, though. It is a legitimate reference, but I love that. And and I just realized who we need to who we need to plug in. <laughs> okay. So... But I don't see, I, I don't see what's wrong with me wanting just to eat with my best buddy because. We did that when you, when I went to visit you at college, and you didn't have a fucking problem with that. But what, when I mention it, to do it on Skype, you fucking get creeped out and decide to get a fucking restraining order. <laughs> I, I did actually try to get a restraining order. This is true. <laughs> I don't so know. What's different, what's different between now and then? I Please enlighten me. Okay, I'll lighten everybody. Uh, I don't know. I just find it like extremely creepy when you do it over a webcam. And Being, uh, doing it over a webcam is the same as I think as doing it in person, just over a computer. I don't really see it that way, to be honest with you. And also, like, um, uh, what else? And and also, uh, like. Okay, let me get. Okay, I'm gonna point this out to everybody. Like, these are what I, I qualify as me time. Okay, my showers, every time I go to the toilet, me eating any meal, and uh, in that little time before I go to bed, and you know what it is. But I'm not gonna mention it in front of everybody. But I'm pretty sure everybody. Can- Everybody who knows what I'm talking about knows what I'm talking about, so I'm not even going to mention it. Those four times during my day 
is when I don't want anybody freaking watching my ass <laughs> or or like doing anything because that just creeps me the hell out. And but we, is, we we ain't food together at Lone Star and you don't have a funny problem with that. I, I wanna say this uh, and I wanna add this was this is a recent thing. I don't know what changed between Lone Star and now, but but now just like creeps me the hell out. <laughs> You know we're gonna be eating together a lot when we move in. You know I know you're gonna point that out, and I think I know why. I, and I think I know why I'm creeped out by it. Um, you know I'm kind of I'm kind of used to like eating like around my family. I'm used to that. I I think I'm not like you. I think I'm just not used to the idea of like eating with people like my own age. I guess. Like, you, you you sat at like the kitty table all the time. Uh, I guess, but oh you no, know, no, I, I guess I guess the more like no, it's like more like you sat at the adult table practically all your life, but you never sat at the kitty table. I guess maybe I don't because, know because uh, it's like it's like Thanksgiving. Uh, my parents and my and like they and, like uh, back in the few years, like way back. There was the adult table and there was the kid table where all the kids, including me, would just sit there, eat our dinner, and the adult would be on the big table, you know, eating and talking and stuff. But since it's practically you, your mom, and your stepdad, you know, you've always sat at the grown up table. Well, yeah, because um, me and my mom and my stepdad, uh, we, uh, we like barely, like, we barely ate with anybody else it was usually just the three of us or once in a blue moon we would go to my uncle mike's and aunt kathy's place but that was like every every once in a while and uh and uh and every and so and sometimes i would uh come uh, come to my grandma's house and it would be my grandma my dad uh me uh at my uncle at my uncle's at my uncle ernie's and aunt ely's place but uh, but whenever they got together, um, they didn't have kid. Uh, like Ethan wasn't born until I was like eleven. Yeah, 11. so you, you you never experienced what it's like to eat with people your own age. Pretty much, Ex- think- except except maybe like high school and shit, because you know you always had to eat lunch at the tables, and everyone is practically your own age. Yeah, but that's kind of like different because it's like it, it's, it's kinda- rushed. It's rushed and it's kind of like a public setting, uh, setting, and you're not really like, you're not really like, you're there for maybe like what twenty twenty minutes tops. Minutes. 20, at least thirty minutes. Twenty thirty minutes tops. Sort of. Yeah. So you're you're so in, in, in that like amount of like thirty minutes, you're uh, practically just eating your food as fast as you can. You just inhale so- it and you're done. You yeah. Inhale, you inhale it. You. You inhale it. You wait for the you wait for the lunch bell to like, uh, uh, to to release you so you can go back to your mundane classes, and then uh, yeah, and then at lunch at lunch you rarely get to socialize with your friends unless if like you're like a, a fast eater and talker. Yeah, I mean most times I would like when when I when we used to eat at lunch. Remember. We used to like talk to our friends, but like we would also be sort of like silent while eating. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't you have like my lunch? Like, yeah, we had we had the same lunch. I think like the first year, but the second year I don't think we did. I don't remember. I know that we got breakfast every morning. Yeah, we had breakfast every morning. Every morning. Yeah, I remember that. Well, I, I, Especially I during I, the I, second year, like yeah, the, like yeah. the half, like the. I think the second year was like the like the last year you actually attended Psy Creek. Yeah, uh, I, well, that's because you know I didn't know it, uh, I didn't know anybody during the first year that much. Yeah, but the uh, second year I, I kind of got into the rhythm. Yeah, I got you. But uh, we, uh, I remember this is what I remember from high school. I would go to like the back of the stairs where they had like the sandwich, bur- or the chicken burgers, or whatever. Yeah, and I would get two two uh, spicy chicken sandwiches, and like uh, I forget like fries and ketchup and like a drink or something. Yeah, and I would eat those, and 
You know, I would practically fucking inhale it, and I barely talk to anyone. I was usually by myself most of the time. Yeah, uh, me, I usually had, like, a, uh, a small clique of friends, like, uh, but... But, yeah, I, we both had, like, a small clique, but, like, they were mostly your friends, and, uh, and like, they became my friends because it was, like, through you. Well, most of them I met, like, during middle school, you know, like... Well, yeah, and I came in, I moved here in, like, the beginning of high school. Yeah, you are kind of, like, the odd one yeah, out. It was like the worst possible time to to change to high school. Yeah. Because it's just like, uh, you know, it's not like you change to elementary school or something. Because in elementary school, if you change, like... uh, It's not a big deal. It's no big deal. But going to high school, like, in a brand new fucking city and shit. To me, if you change middle and or high school, you're kind of like... You really like change a lot because, like, uh, like when are we first moved to like uh, to the north to that north uh, to that side of Houston? Like, I told my mom I do not want to like move anymore. Like after this, that that's it. Yeah, that's what my like, dad promised me when we moved here. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, uh. But but kind of sidestepping this, I kind of, the, also the other reason why I think I'm not 100% used to it is, like, there is the factor that I'm my own child that plays into it. Well, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I eat my food all by myself nowadays. Like, I guess uh, I'm just, like, super used to, like, being by myself, like, being solitary, I yeah. guess. Uh, like, I mean, uh, I mean, I you I have, you to... have the lone wolf solo mentality. Sorta. I mean, I, I tell you, I mean, every time I go to my welding class, I like attempt to socialize and make friends. You know, I tell yeah, you that. Yeah, you tell me that. Uh, but it's like it, we're talking about just like eating lunch. But, we're talking about eating food together. I know, but it's kind of like small things that kind of like add up, you know? Yeah, but I think the, the main reason to get to kind of end this topic, sort of, is that I think the main thing is that you're not used to webcams. Uh, that might be it, too, because I never had a webcam before in the whole... <clears throat> No, it's 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 weird seeing. Uh, it's not it's not like watching a video, like watching Jack Seth, you know, some other YouTuber uh, on your computer. It's literally person that's talking to you at the same moment. Yeah, I think that's what's creeping me out. It, it's a different experience that you're you're not used to. I mean, I'm fucking used to it because I I webcam with like a shit ton of people. I. Also, uh, another probably factor that probably played a small, a small to medium role is that horror movie that we watched, The Den. Maybe. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I, but I mean, but it's just like it's, it's, uh, it's not like we're going like on Omegle or something. It's just you and me. Webcam. I know, but it's still like it's still like the concept of it all freaks me out. I guess. I don't yeah, know. I understand. It's like <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, it's, it's like just out of nowhere, a guy sneaks up right behind me, even though there's a fucking wall behind me. It fucking kills me. <laughs> You're like, holy shit! How the fuck did that happen? I think he has like 16's powers, where he can like uh like materialize out of like. Uh, like wormholes in your in your walls or something. Yeah, because like my webcam is facing to like my back wall because I have like my bed, uh, sort of like a, not like across from my door, but like horizontal from my door. Yeah, I, I don't know how I don't know the exact position, but so it's like no matter what, I can see who comes through my door. Yeah, like and my eyes are always like towards my door. And my desk is, like, right there next to me in front of the door. Yeah. But if, like, if I see a fucking gun, like, kind of, like, 
pop out of the like like you know like you know how like people clear rooms and shit. Yeah. And uh, like you see the gun, and it's like I just grab my knife and just jam his hand. Yeah. Yeah. That that's what you need to do. Like 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 especially like stabbing into like a wall or your table or something. Yeah. So that so that way he like he's like pinned no matter what he does. Uh, no, that's one thing about me. Like I will always like be facing doors at some some way because I don't trust doors. Okay. I I do not trust doors at all because I it's just it, they're, when they're closed, you don't know if something's on the other side and I like, could be like trying to come in. Now windows. I, I'm not scared of the windows because uh, I always have something like blocking the windows, like my my AC. And so you know I'm not worried about that because if something tries to get in through the window, it's gonna make some fucking noise. But like the door, the only way like they can get it in is like through you know if they open it. But you know I always keep my door locked. Uh, I got burglar bars on on uh, my window, and there's like a <clears throat> and there's like a thick thorny bush. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! boy. <laughs> yeah. Guess that reference. Yeah. But it, it, uh, uh, getting back to the task at hand, I, I just don't see like it, it shouldn't really bother you. Just one. Of I think it, I, I kind of see your point. I think it's more or less like something I need to get used to. I'm probably not used to the concept yet because this is my. This is actually the very first webcam that I owned. Yeah, like, thanks to me, the best best friend ever. Yeah, so it's probably going to take me a little bit to get used to. And also, uh, I'm not, like, used to all of this, like, Omegle ch- chat chat roulette thing. Like, I've seen YouTube shit on it, but, you know, it's just, like, the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really want to. Uh, I, I've tried Omegle, and I think I tried chat roulette, like, once. But I kind of did Omegle a little bit more. Like, I did, like, maybe twice in my life. And it's just, it's weird as hell, but it's like, I, I wasn't even me. I wore uh, my screen, my orange screen mask. <laughs> I just, I didn't want people to see me for one reason, because there's like a lot of dicks. Like, <laughs> penis, I'm talking penis, about penis. physical dicks. A penis. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm talking about physical penis. And I don't want, you know, people to like, see my face and like, because of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just creepy to me. I mean, if I was, like, in a port, I wouldn't mind, but it's, like, just seeing my face, and they're like, oh, God, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that, that just don't fly with me. Okay. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to try it. I may try it I, once. I, just I, to... I, think, I think you and me should do it together, like, when we move in. Yeah, I'm thinking about trying it once, maybe, but I'm not really, like, 100% sold on doing it, but, you know, yeah, it'd be, but it'd, it'd if, be if interesting. We can, if we can get good, like, video capture uh, software or something, like, where we can, like, like, record from the computer of what we're doing and shit. Yeah. And then, like, we could do, like, Omegle and shit together. <laughs> yeah, we can do, like, Omegle, vid, Omegle vids like Damien does every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I it's not like I'm copying Damien or anyone because a lot of YouTubers do it. A lot, of, a lot of YouTubers do it. Yeah. It, it, uh, I mean, uh, the two I know are Shane Dawson and uh, Damien. Damien. I know there's like a whole bunch of YouTubers that do it, so you know we'd just be like, we 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 practically we'd just, go... we'd just be hopping on the bandwagon. Yeah, but it's, a, it's sort of an old bandwagon. Yeah, not a lot of people do it nowadays. I mean, chat roulette kind of started the trend. Yeah. And I think that just turned into a glorified, like, slut roulette. Pretty much. <laughs> just penises and vagina everywhere. Pretty much. You know what? I have a theory that, like, uh, chat roulette just renamed itself slut roulette. You know, and... I, I actually, I, I heard there is a thing called slut roulette. I know. Uh, You know, there... Yeah, I, I know about it. Uh, but I don't know if it okay, changed his name. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at porn. Is that too bad? <laughs> Is that so bad, Wait, audience? I, Everybody I, does it. Don't lie. You do it too. Eighty percent of guys, mostly, 
uh, males that are like under 18 especially they watch porn it's a, it's a known fact don't lie we don't Even no women no watch porn no hey uh, you sir right there do not lie to us <laughs> we will know who's lying to us <laughs> and we will hunt you down <clears throat> and we will hug you <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant rape you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep getting the hug and rape mixed. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway. But yeah, we should definitely do like an old man go vid like when we move in. <laughs> yeah. Though. So. Okay. Uh. Let me see. Where are we gonna talk about something else? I forget. Uh, I actually have two things I want to talk about, but I'm trying to figure out which one I want to talk about first. Uh, do, <laughs> do you want me, uh, uh, do you think I should start with my KKK story? Oh, yes! Tell that story. That That is, like, a weird, funny story. Okay, so... Oh, wait, 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 just a disclaimer. Uh, uh in pro- past podcasts, we have said that we are not racist. We yeah. are not racist we at are, all. We're not racist. Uh, however, I do want to disclose that I am part a, of an organization called Sons of Confederate Veterans, and it's not a racial group. It's not. A, it's not a white supremacist group or anything of that nature. Pretty much, it's just. Uh, I have so many it's- ancestors that fought in the Confederacy uh, during the Civil War, and pretty much all we're about is Southern heritage and Southern pride. That's it's all basically- we're about. It's basically like the North people, but without the whole slavery thing. See, I can go into the slavery thing because you know, in the South, the slave like in the South, slaves were like their only commodity because you know, not commodity, but you know, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of the people in the South like own plantations uh, and big plantations at that. Like anywhere from ten to uh, ten to a hundred acres, uh, it, it depends on how rich you were, and 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 you can't tend to you can barely tend to one acre by yourself, so you're gonna need help. And well, yeah, it, but that doesn't mean you have. To and like... it's too and and at that time it was too expensive to hire everybody, and of course they're gonna be using slaves. I'm not saying that slavery was justified or anything like that. I'm just saying at the time, you know. You, Slaves you just get... were cheaper than the average worker. It's like basically, it's like uh, no, not to be racist, but it's kind of like the Mexicans nowadays. Yeah, I was about to say that. It's kind of, it's... <laughs> I, it, it's, uh, we're not seriously, we're not racist, but uh, slaves are. These a are bit just like, cold hard facts. I mean, yeah, really. I mean, it's all about how much money you can pay for a worker to do the work that you need to be done. That needs to be done. And sometimes the, uh, some people are a lot cheaper, such as Mexicans and, uh, back in the day, the slaves. Yeah, I mean, pretty much, I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't even, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you like, like, oh, yeah, they deserve it. They deserve to be slaves. No, I'm not going to say that, but, you know, but. You, well, you know, some slaves, I think, uh, some, some plantation owners and such were very nice to their slaves. Yeah, I mean... There's I like really, a small few, but there were some. Th- yeah, that was some minor... Yeah, those were a minority, though. Like, especially especially in every high school history, whatever. Like, when you're in your high school and you brush over the Civil War, like, what, in like a month? Uh, they like... Oh, uh, what what really irks me is that they just like paint the South as like this evil, as this evil being that just enslaves people and just make and just works them to death. You know, yeah. Well, that's because there, there's there's not real good documentation of history. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. There was just not good documentation of history back then. But we're not. But they weren't like this evil, like like this evil, like uh, organization that just like thrived on enslaving human beings and make them and making them work, uh, uh, like for free, basically. I mean, it wasn't. Well, I think some slaves like did get paid. Some slaves did get paid. Probably like, like maybe like five cents or something. And I'm not sure. And. 
and I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but did you guys know that there were some, uh, some black, uh, soldiers during the Confederacy that fought for the Confederacy? Well, I think... Did you know uh, that, Dexter? Well, no. Well, I think I did, but, like, I think... I, I, I wasn't, like... I, I didn't, like, like, go too much into it, but I think they were either... Either they chose to or they were forced to. I don't know which one. Some were forced, some chose, because it's, uh, some... I think, oh, I think... Well, I think, like, I think some slaves did like the conditions, like, maybe, like, you know, like, the, their conditions. Yeah, like, their conditions, like... They were probably, like, fed and clothed, and they worked I, hard. I think the ones that, like, chose were was kind of like, well, if we're free, uh, what's gonna be left for us? Because all of our lot Because especially, like, the ones that are, like, born into it, like, the ones that were, like, that were, like... From the time they the, can the walk, ones that, yeah, the, the ones that were like born while they were slaves. Yeah, the ones that were born slaves, like, like, like when they could like walk and do stuff, and and they were given like brooms and stuff. Yeah, those are the ones that are like, uh, yeah, we're gonna fight for, the, yeah, we're gonna fight for the south because if we're if, because we don't know how to be free. You know, it, you just not a lot of people think that way. And uh, one thing you guys will will come to know about me is that I am deceptively smart. Like I may I may act and look like a dumbass, but well, same a... here. I'm actually sort of really smart myself. Uh, I ch I choose to act like an idiot because it's a lot more fun just to have like not a whole lot of worries, you know, not to be so serious in life. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's me. It's like I rather like I rather pretend to be a moron and like have and like let people like don't expect too much out of me and, instead of like acting like a smart person. Then everybody needs everything for me at once, and I just don't like that. But yeah, just just to get our point across, uh, we are not racist, and this story is pretty funny. Okay, now for our feature presentation, and, we're, and also we're sorry that. That debate kind of took long. Also, I find it very funny. We went from penises to slavery. <laughs> <laughs> we were we just, we just for jumped, podcasts. This we, is, just, we just jumped from penises to slavery in an instant. Hey, hey, everybody! This is your fifth podcast. If if you're not used to it by now, uh, you it, it's just not this this podcast is just not for you. You, you it's should not. just you, you should just leave. But subscribe though. <laughs> Subscribe and uh, like it. I mean, if, if I mean like it on your way out or dislike it, whatever. <sighs> uh, I don't give a crap. Okay, so tell your story. I, I, I want to hear it. Okay, so all right. So last night I w uh we were on break. Uh, it was me and this Mexican dude in there. Uh, I don't know the Mexican dude's name because I haven't really talked to him like a lot, and we're just chilling out. Like I I was. I was just like relaxing and everything, and got this voicemail, and and fortunately for me, he put it on speaker so I can hear this hilarity. Uh, it was like, uh, it was it was something like, uh, it started out with like, uh, this is is like what is like, hello, brothers of of the Ku Klux Klan, we are glad that we are glad that uh that police officer killed that N word. Because I'm white and I can't say it, so that's why I'm <laughs> saying N word. And uh, we, uh, he did his job, and uh, and he's a natural born American, and and we commend him for his brave actions, and and, and killing one in uh, in killing uh, one of many uh, and racial words. racial slur here uh, is it rhymes with. It rhymes with, uh... Wega? No, it, uh... It rhymes with Corched Honky. Ah. <laughs> and, uh, uh... And yada yada yada. And, uh... And then, and then they kind of... they kind of, like, whisk, like, all these members that, like... Like, like one dude, like, killed a bunch of natives. Native Americans, like... Uh, and, and it was, like, worded really good. Like, liberated... Uh, liber li liberated our land from the natives or something, and then it kind of like went on and on. And a lot that, of racial shit and 
a lot of racial stuff that I'm not gonna like repeat word for word, but I'm just trying to say this just to give you guys the idea. And then out of the freaking blue, it goes, please join our website at kknights, uh, uh, com. And I'm like, and I, and I, and I lost it at that point. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, and me and him just like, me and the Mexican dude just lost our, just lost our shit like right there. I'm like, and then, and then after I got done laughing, I I was like, you might as well have just said, uh, just said, uh, here's our main headquarters. You can visit us here. Our hours are here. And here's the, and here's the, and here's a giant list of all the people that we killed. Because. Because any sane person could just take that to the police and and have like and have like a and have like a computer guy hack uh hack their web hack their little website or you know well actually uh, uh, a computer analyst uh, a computer analyst is the name of the job but a computer analyst all they do is just track the IP through the website yeah they can just track the IP and and boom they got them. But, um, but I told this to my friend Omar, and it was like, it was like, that wouldn't really matter, because, um, most of the clan, um, uh, um, uh, most of the police officers in Houston, and, and especially some of the, and some, of, like, these smaller towns, like, like, these small pissant towns that are, like, abundant around here, around Texas, it wouldn't matter, because, um, most of the police officers are in, like, are in the KKK's pocket, so it wouldn't really matter, and I kind of saw his point, but, but you don't even have to take it to the police. You could just like send it to anonymous. For those of you who don't know who anonymous is, they're uh they're they're these groups of hacker of hacking activists. Sometimes they're called hacktivists. And and if you give them guys uh this website, they could like trace their IP and like do some like just mess with their stuff. They could, they could practically probably like hack their bank accounts and like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, like, like. Also, uh, I I just want to say h- hackers scare me just a little bit, yeah. especially ever since I saw the game theory videos. Oh, uh, the ones about watchdogs. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Watch underscore dogs. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I played that game and it was awful. Uh, it's just like it someone. Was, it was boring just, as hell. It's just someone being able to like. Hack into your like personal life and like, you know, being able to do all this shit. It, it's a little bit scary because there's real no security or safety. Yeah. But, but that's like if you're like really like social media like us sort of. Yeah. To me. Uh, no, I, I don't hate... mind like I don't mind hackers that are like they do stuff for good maybe. Like like. like the... Like like, like a, a Robin Hood hacker sort of. Like uh like anonymous sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm if, they're doing, if they're using their skills for good, not evil, then that's okay. But it's like it, there are a lot of like bad hackers. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's. Uh, I mean, you give uh, you give a person a sword or or in this case a gun and. What they do with it is up to them. They can like kill, they can kill people just for the hell of it, or and you or use it for its intended purpose and defend defend yourself against evil people. I mean, it, yeah. it just it just it just depends on it, who, it's, you know. There's it depends on who's holding the gun or who's holding the weapon in yeah. in, uh, in question. I mean, yeah. that's all that com- that's yeah, all but- that comes down to. Yeah, but uh, I watched this episode of Elementary like a few months back. Uh, I, I think like uh, they kind of played on the anonymous people. Like, it was about this hacker. Yeah. And uh, like I, I forget why, but I think like Sherlock Holmes like pissed them off or something. And uh, like they they fucked up their life. I mean, Joan, Joan was, like, on this dating website with, like, a lot of perverts. Yeah. And, and uh, they got, like, 32 pizzas delivered to their house. Their bank accounts were empty, I think. Yeah. They were, like, 
you know, they were like fucked with like a lot. And uh, that got, that scared me. Oh, uh, you want to hear something else that's scary? So, uh, have you ever heard of swatting? You mean like when I swat bugs? No, uh, uh, this has become like uh, a trend in the gaming world, sorta, uh, especially around Call of Duty. Uh, see what hackers will do is like they'll trace your IP address and like get like your personal information, and they will call, uh, they'll call like an emergency, uh, they'll call like an emergency service, like like the police or something, and like will concoct the story that makes them go out there and they will bust down and and I've seen some videos on this on YouTube and like uh like some of it was tame like some of it was like the police were like co coming to the house and like ask questions and stuff but uh but there has been like some extreme cases where there were like where there was like this whole armed police force like bulletproof vests assault rifles everything like sweeping, like sweeping through the house, and you can see it through the webcam and, sh and shit. It was yeah. weird. So yeah, that's the thing. It yeah, becomes, isn't isn't that scary though? A little bit scary, but you know, it's it it's it's scary, but it's like I I, I hate to say it, but I tend to ignore it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's really no other way of like, of like being around a bush about it. Like, I can't like, I can't like disguise it to make it sound less pussified. But I kind of ignore it because it's just like, you know, it... yeah. But I mean, hackers can like literally like, ruin your life. Well, I mean, unless you piss one off. Oh well, yeah, but you know I don't want, really want to piss anyone off. <laughs> I don't. I try not to piss anyone off, really. Ah, uh, unfortunately, you and I are opposite. Yeah, I live for, for but you know people off. I, I think it's actually like better to like make nice with hackers. Uh, because you never know when their skills could come in handy. Yeah, it's like yeah. getting it's like getting a collection of friends that could help you in like some situations. For some reason, I think you're working a leverage angle here. <laughs> well, I kind of am. I mean, you gotta admit. The oh wait, leverage team... hold hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me let me see. Um, we need an actress friend, preferably a good one. Uh, a, gr we... a grifter. Yeah, to grift and whatnot. Uh, we need we need someone who can hack. We need someone who Bad. knows kung fu. And we know, and we need to know someone who can steal things without getting caught, like, like doing high tech robberies and shit. I guess it, you could it, pass it, as the brains. I, 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 guess? I can name all the stuff right now. It's grifter, hacker, and mastermind. Yeah. I think I think I could be a little bit Nate Ford. With some training. Oh well, yeah, but I mean Nate Ford, he uh. He, he he was like sort of a detective, but like for like insurance. I I guess, sort of. Uh, like he was like a detective, sort of, and that's kind of weird. Uh, not really detective. I mean, uh, I don't know how. Well, I'm not saying him. like that. That's the actual title. I'm just saying like that was sort of what he did. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of saw that, sort of. Kind of, sort of. I mean, he, he tracked down, like, insurance fraud stuff and, like, paintings yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we need, like, to have, like, sort of a group of friends, sort of, like, the leverage team. You know, uh, hitter, grifter, I... ma uh, hacker, and thief. Uh, I could maybe be a hitter, I guess. I mean, I like fighting. Yeah. I just... I, I, I... I think we uh, like I just if need we to learn really like if we really learn stuff. Uh, I think we could like do all of their jobs, sort of, except maybe like hacker because like hacker is. Uh, we I, need I to leave a thief open. We need to leave a thief open, and I want a woman thief. <laughs> Oops. I can. I, I, I honestly, I was thinking about like sort of like uh, honing my skills, like sort of like pickpocketing and stuff. Pickpocketing is fine, but I'm talking like the high tech, like uh, suspending oh, from there, buildings. There, there's no, there 
there's no one on earth who could take Parker's place. No. Parker's like honestly she's she, like she's like, like the I she's like the ideal thief of yeah. in the entire world. She's like number one or two on my top five most interesting characters list. Yeah. Especially I, like with her backstory and stuff. Yeah. Uh her and uh who who who's the other one that, that she's fighting with? I'm thinking House, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> House is definitely up there, but I'm not sure what number he's on. I haven't really like put him in a specific order yet. Uh but anyway, uh, yeah, she's like one of the most interesting characters in like any show, book, or movie I've ever seen in my life. Seeing yeah, and Red, I, I think and I, I think we could grift, but I don't think there's a better grifter than a woman. This may sound sexist and misogynistic, but, uh... It's a little bit true. Yeah. Because, I mean, a, a woman, she can get close to a man, like a spy, and just be able to, like, take whatever she wants from him. Yeah. I mean, she could, like, lift key cards off of him, steal his wallet, you know. And, and she, and grifters can pretty much take anything from a, ma- a man just by looking very beautiful. Yeah. Rear. And that that's actually a very cautious thing, is be wary of beautiful women. Yeah. Because, Beware! Because... Uh, I am the box ghost! Beware! <laughs> I am the box ghost! Beware! <laughs> Name that reference, but I'm pretty sure if you've seen that show, you went over it, yes, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think women are just better grifters, because... Just flaunting their beauty and their boobies, they can pre- they can get a man to do pretty much anything. It's true. It's I mean, true. men are so weak willed, beautiful women with big tits. And don't that, you lie, men. You know it's true. And that and that's why I'm not a big fan of like very beautiful women because, for one, I think some are like really stuck up, sort of. And two, you're you know, easily manipulative. Yeah, they can easily manipulate men. I mean, that's you pretty, you're pretty... you're easily manipulative. Well, you yeah, know, that's, but that's you know, a, that's with everyone. You don't know how many times I like manipulated you to, into doing my bidding. Oh, uh, you know that street goes two ways with you two. And I think yeah, I don't like tell you when I manipulate you because I know it pisses you off when 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 you get fooled because I know if you told me it would piss me off then I don't want that either so it's like we well, should just like I, I don't I, I wouldn't really get mine mine because you know it, it, we're best friends and really even if we like manipulate each other it's not to do us any harm. No. It's sort of just to kind of get us to do something that uh, we, we know that the other would probably wouldn't do. Like breaking up with a crazy-ass girlfriend. Yeah. That's that's story for a way better time. That's a or, story, or, for, or, that's a story or, for, a, for a podcast like months and months and months down the future. He's not ready for that yet. <laughs> no. we'll, we'll, we'll get into that story later. But there is one story I do want to get into since we're in the uh, fifty since we're in the fifty minute mark. Well, not uh, a story. Well, not a story really, but uh, something I kind of want to like get off my mind that I've been that I've been thinking about. Tell uh, me, my brother. Okay. Uh, remember in the last podcast I talked to you guys about Crystal, the the chick that I was working with when you I was. Mean, you mean the chick that with the drug dealers and the paranoid schizophrenic? Yeah, um, you know what's weird? I can't stop thinking about her. And not really? In like, and not in a romantic way, by the way. Uh, before... but, like, how in such way? Like, you just can't stop thinking about her, like, all your adventures with her, or what? Kind of like all the adventures I had with her, and it's like... <sighs> you know, it's kind of like I, uh... You know, it's kind of like... Uh, you know, You know, like, sometimes you, like... You kind of like sit there and think. I wonder what. I wonder what. Uh, what she's doing right now. Like, oh, you know, you're talking about like. I wonder what that person is up to. Yeah, uh, you know, 
Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like how, like, kind of like how you, how you, like, think about, like, uh, how's that certain family member doing that you haven't heard from in a long time? You know? or, 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 like, the typical, I wonder what that bitch ex-girlfriend's doing. I hope she's miserable. Uh, not in that context for me, but it's kind of like... But it's still on the same premise. It's still on the same premise, though, yeah. I don't know, it's just like, I kind of... Like I mentioned before, I'm an only child, so, um... Chris, so, was sort of like uh, an extended family member. Family well, member. Kind of, kind of. Uh, but let me, but let me uh, explain. Like, uh, a lot of my... See, uh, with only children, uh, you kind of see this a lot. And I'm not sure if there's, like, an actual, like, psychological term for it. Like, a like an official psychological term. But I call it only child syndrome. I don't know the other term for it, the official term. I'm not I'm a psychology. I'm sure I can find it. <laughs> I'm not a psychology expert. I don't want to be. I, I'm an amateur psychologist. Okay, but anyway, it's kind of like, um, see, with only children, like the like their closest friends like become their siblings, sort of. Like with me and Dexter, that's like a prime example. Like we bicker back and forth, but at the end of the day, we're kind of family. Sort of. We're, we're we're really close to family. In my in my head at least. And uh I had a couple of fr- and I had a couple of friends other friends like that. Uh Tori, for example. Uh, yeah. uh, um, like, same here. Uh yeah, me and me and him know Tori for a while and uh she's been kinda distant, but we still kinda think about what, what she's doing, or at least well, I do. I, I I kinda do, but I also kinda read her Facebook status and because that's because well, you know I'm always on Facebook. I don't get on Facebook often. Yeah, I know, I know that she had her senior re- senior recital. Yeah, I heard, I know about that. I get on Facebook every now and again, but you know. But yeah, you're talking about like Crystal. Yeah, you know, I think the reason why I can't stop thinking about her is like we is like we kind of have like this connection sort of because uh she was actually an only child too if i remember correctly yeah she was so we kind of like connected and she was kind of like the older sister i always wanted sort of and like the older sister i i i have always wanted (laughs) yeah it's a bone (laughs) bob shut up i think he's didn't you see that, uh, that, didn't I show you that, um, didn't I tell you to watch that Channel 13, uh, news thingy? Yeah, you did, uh, but, like, your mom, uh, had Crystal's name. I know, they fucked up on that one. Fucking it, news. <laughs> fucking media. Not reliable <laughs> for shit. But, you've seen her, right? But, you've seen her, uh, you've seen her face. Uh, I, I, I honestly I got confused because of the whole name mistaken thing. Oh yeah, because you never met my mom before. Yeah, so like, yeah, I kind I kind. I had to point it out to you. I I kind of got like screwed up, sort of. So yeah, I don't really, really remember her face. Damn it! I was about to say if you remembered her face, she was like a, she was kind of like a solid seven and a half. I wish I could remember. <laughs> I wish you all, could. All see. I really remember was. See, oh, like, you know what? Maybe I, I, it's. I'll, you know what? Maybe. Uh, maybe it's on my uh mom's uh, uh, YouTube channel. I think she still has it. I think. I think that video still might be up there. I'll. If I can find it, I will not only send Dexter the link, but I'll also link it in in the description. Yeah, so uh, you can guys see their failed Honda tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, it, the 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 haunted tour of failed the past haunted tour. <laughs> What's funny is that uh, uh, is that uh, on a side note, a small side note. Uh, What's funny is that my mom told me that she was gonna reopen it, but it's just gonna be her and my stepdad doing it, and they're only gonna be doing it like near in the spring and fall. So then, and it's just gonna be them too. So they're not like working to death like like with the old one, and they're definitely not gonna hire any new people. Yeah. To me, uh, and 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 that bring and 
and now segueing back to my main point, uh, mm-hmm. whenever, whenever Crystal left, I think, like, after she left me, that's when I kind of, like, lost hope for the business. Yeah, because, I can see that. Because she was, like, an amazing tour guide. Like, like she was, she was clear, concise, she got all of her facts in order, she, like, rarely messed up. She was organized and ready to go. Yeah. She was, she was organized, yeah. Except that part about the drug dealers. Besides that issue, I actually kind of liked her. The drug... <laughs> <laughs> the drug dealers were a deal breaker. The drug dealers were kind of like, eh. Or like a, eh, it's, 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 uh. I don't want to get shot here. <laughs> I don't want to get shot here, so I'm just going to think if you ask my sister and I'm not even going to make a move on you, and plus you're like five years older than I am, and I live with my mom, and and you already kind of treat me like a little kid anyway, so it wasn't going to work out, even if I tried. Yeah, but, um... And uh, also my mom had like this no dating thing. Really? She actually had that? Yeah, she actually had that in all of their and cho- all of our contracts, including mine. Wow, she is like she's. Uh, what, what the shit? What is that word? She's Bitch. very. Well, yes, that word. But I'm talking about like she's very. Uh, she I was very. She was business oriented. Thorough. She was thorough. She was thorough. She was very business oriented. She knew that that relationships. Especially among co-workers, when that's when that crap goes south, that's when that's when a pointless bickering starts. That's when uh, breakups that's when, like, happen, and that's when all the work suffers. Yeah, that's when. Yeah, we 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 have seen every romantic thing where couples work together. We know the drill. Yeah, we. Anybody who's seen any romantic comedy where the couple is working together knows how that how that crap ends out. But usually, like, mostly in just TV shows, like, they do end up together happy, but it's, like, just not really in the real life. Yeah. Unless that they, like, really work at it. Right. Yeah, but I think the main, like, she's been on my mind recently, and I can't, like, get her out, and, uh, and there was a specific thing that I'm going to point out to you after this podcast that you probably didn't notice that I sent you uh, th- that kind of relates to this. So that's kind of why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's... Uh, I just kind of want to talk about that a little bit. I get that off my chest, you know. Yeah, and this is a safe place. This is where just people can come and listen and probably not even make it this far. <laughs> yeah, because we're 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 uh we're nearing into like the final like six minutes. Speaking of, uh, I kind of want to like I want to share something with y'all. I want to share something. I want to share a song with y'all, and I tested this before we play before we recorded. Oh this God! Song. You know what song I'm playing? Oh God! This. Okay, before I play the song, I want to give a little backstory. This is the national anthem of every little, of every little, uh, of every comment section that you've seen, especially in the popular people's, uh, comments, like, like, any, like, this includes any COD videos, PewDiePie videos, uh, give me, uh, Markiplier, I think he's a big one. Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye, Smosh Games. Like, anybody who has any petty squabbles over the internet, this is the national anthem for it. And I am going to try my best not to sing to it because it's it's a Disney as hell. And, and if you like this song, it's on iTunes, and I suggest you buy it. It's like, I think 99 It's not it. ours, by the way. It's not ours. It belongs to Mr. Lyle McDouchebag. No copyright intended. No copyright intended. Don't, don't sue me, Lyle. I don't think you would because... Because uh because I'm actually generating business for you, you douche. <laughs> Alright. Let's play it before I kill myself. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Press 
suck the highest caliber of dick. Fuck you. This video is awesome. You probably don't get it because you're retarded. No, you. This isn't even funny. You have to be 11 to even watch this garbage. If you don't like it, then just go away. You eat my shit, you're stupid and gay. Okay, I we're done. If you don't have anything better to do, then get mad, cause I'm disagreeing with you. Then we're done! <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we can stop there. Okay, we can stop. What? We can stop. Ah, I'm playing the whole song. <laughs> God, dude. We, we... <laughs> we have enough time. You're such a pussy bitch, I hope you're tired of fire! Ow! That hurt. <laughs> God is real. What? You can't prove that. Oh, yes, do you have to tell it? Seriously, oh, shut up. You said you blocked me. You can't. Take the subject. Finally, this time to get ready. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. <laughs> Thank God. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you know, you could have just like put the link in the fucking description so no. Of off. No. <laughs> this is my podcast, and I'm calling the shots here. It's our podcast, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it was on my channel to begin with. Whatever. All right, guys. I'm sorry that you guys had to listen to that all, all, all the way. But thank you guys for uh, listening. Uh, hit, hit that like button if you like this video. Hey, give us a uh, comment in the co comment uh, if you and tell us your thoughts or opinions. Yeah. And favorite like 
share, Whatever. subscribe, do all the all the things that we you know what to do. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, like I said, if you like that song, I'm sorry. I think I did go a little bit overboard with playing the entire thing. I should just play like maybe the first, maybe like after like the first verse and then stop. after the after you said after you said it's a comment where you should have stopped. I should have stopped it there, but uh, I'm sorry. So, anyway, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, uh and wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Uh, yeah, thanks for listening. And everything, uh, like I said, if you liked it, uh, buy the song, it's really good. I paid for it, it's awesome. Uh, and with that, uh, okay, you can say your goodbye now. <laughs> bye, <sighs> potatoes. We'll be back with another uh, fan Irish podcast. Bye bye.